And me again, debunking the, the, the modern dating myths that are completely untrue. Completely. There's nine of them. This is number five. You ready? Number five myth is that dating apps are the only way to meet men today. <laughs> really? So again, in my world, this is what I do, right? I, dip, I help men and women attain and sustain long, healthy love relationships into marriage and kids if that's what they want. At the very least, long-term companionship. That's what I do. That's my work every day. Not a hobby. I do this every day. That's that my only source of income. And that idea that, you know, I know at modern age, computers, mine's right, mine's right here, my phone, right? You get on your phone and you got three, four, five, sixteen apps that you're part of looking for Mr. Right. Ladies, right? Man, don't do that. I'm going to say the idea, of course, it makes sense, right? Thousands of people are on the computer, right? Put your picture, put your profile, and hopefully somebody swipes the right way. How's that working out? For most of you, not so well. How do I know? This is what I do. For most of you, not so well. A lot of freaking time and energy spent, a lot of swiping left and right, and a lot of nothing coming back at you. Conversation that go nowhere. Conversation for a week or two that stops. You get ghosted. They come back two weeks later. Right? You with me? Are you having fun yet with this shit? It's not fun. Most most of my women actually get sort of more hurt, not able to connect with thousands of people. And the potential, like there's one out there, and thousands of ways to get there, and no one gets there. Ugh. That's how you destroy a woman's um, <laughs> self-esteem, by the way. So, at work, the my experience that I used to work in the, in the past, um, in the beginning, 10 years ago, the people had more success. I think there was no algorithm to control what's coming at you, right? The, 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 the apps are made that the algorithms will feed you shit even though it's not real. Just saying. So you have all these likes and you know a lot of them are just computer picked. Not actual. So that's one layer. The biggest thing, ladies, I want to say this is that even though it's a mo new modern way to do it, most masculine men have tried apps and have given up on apps. So where you end up getting on these things, thousands and thousands of men that are actually not men. In my world, if you've been around me, there's three types of men. It's boys, guys, and men. Men are not on computer apps. They try for a few months and they go, forget this crap, it's bull. Men like to meet women who look like they say they look <laughs> in every way. Do you know what I mean? And most men complain that, complain or talk about like the fact that every profile is the same. I'm sweet, I'm kind, my friends like me, my dog loves me, everybody says I'm you know, uh, lovely, I love the beach, I love dinners. I mean, it's all the same. They're like, it's all the same. And all we get is a picture, and then we meet her, and typically, whatever. So, men don't really do dating apps. Interesting, huh? And so, what, this is why you end up with boys who don't make plans, don't follow through, disappear, come back, disappear, come back, you know, tell you all you want to hear, Never make a plan, right? And then you end up like stepping in, like, so are we going to meet, right? That's masculine. That doesn't work. So too many boys on, on dating apps who, too many cheaters are on dating apps, right? Men who are married want to cheat. That, those are the guys online, not men. Men are out in the world, in public, in their neighborhood, looking for women that are local. Men don't want to travel two hours to date you. Dating apps have women all over the place. Different state, different countries. Men don't want that. Women think it's fantastic, right? Well, probably the guy in Spain. I get to live in Barcelona. That, no, <laughs> that's not what men think. Again, that happens, but it's so rare. So, if you consider that men are not on dating apps, then how do you attract men? You know, when you're out in public, because men are everywhere. The gas station, the grocery store. I live in California. Car washes. Right? Car washes. 50 people, okay, 20, 25 people standing around for 45 minutes having nothing to do. Men and women. People are everywhere. Men are everywhere. 
And actually, if you're going to be calculated, you can actually tell what they're driving too. Woo! Just saying. It tells you a lot about a person, what they're driving. <sighs> so, dating apps often will burn you out, will make you feel less than valued, feminine, important, you know. <laughs> You'll end up feeling neglected and alone more. That happens a lot. So there's other ways. There's a more natural way. And I know it's popular. I'm not an old guy. I just, this is the data. This is the stuff, right, that, that we know works better. So if you want to know more about that, Come find me, book a call on my website, um, a Zoom call, it's on me, and we'll, I, I'll present to you what I do and what that looks like, what it costs. It's no big deal. It's not knowing that's killing you, ladies. Again, cultural, modern myths that aren't true. Dating apps to meet, to meet you know, your husband, very unlikely. That happens, but there's, there's probably... It happens so much not. <laughs> and it creates so much pain and confusion for you. Because these men don't do what men do. Or men, these men are not traditional, and they don't do the traditional stuff that you want. Provide, protect, cherish a woman, give. Right? All the stuff that you want men to do. Not on apps. So much so that, you know, it's not worth it. My world. Anyway, hope that helps. Let me know. Bye.